March 15, 2012. Apocalypse struck down on society, taking out our friends, our family, and children alike. CDC, WHO, they don't know what this is. There is no cure. This is a man-made disease. Because while the enemy is hidden in plain sight, the real enemy is hidden in the shadows, waiting. There is one rule for survival in the apocalypse. You either adapt, or you perish. Because the real enemy is not the zombies. Not the undead. It is ourselves. We decide who we are. What our fate is. The apocalypse is a fickle mistress. We decide who we are. We decide what we do. It's a hard, hard time when the apocalypse starts. But we've all got to live through it. You need to adapt or you perish. I've just killed a guy who must have been setting up some sort of loot. I've quickly taken his gun. And after shooting him with his own gun that he had placed on top of the workbench here, I seem to have drawn myself a few zombies. Indeed. A few zombies. But it's fine. Nothing I can't deal with. It was me or him. I needed his supplies. Does he have any more ammo for the gun? He does not. But I've taken his supplies of whatever camp he was setting up here. I killed him. And now as you can probably tell, I'm on my I'm on my radio, which still works. Thank god that I kept it to my friend Blakey. And we're gonna um meet up at some point. Hopefully we can meet each other. Well, that's the way it is in Daisy. You kill, or you beat kill. Everyone knows that. Let's just hope no one else is around. I'm gonna go meet up with Blake, you know. Let's meet or him. Either adapt or you perish. I don't know how many times I'm gonna see it. The weak die, the strong kill, but the strong survive. What? No. That's how this is gonna work. That's how you will survive the apocalypse. Blakey is nearby. We've just contacted each other on the radio. Um, you might have heard him there on the radio. I think he might, he's in a bit of trouble. Anyway, guys, next time you see us, we'll be with Blakey. So we made it to Berzino. This is more Blakey last told me, but communications have cut out. And there is the faint signal of him still being here. I don't know what's happened, his radio seems to always be on. And he seems to be playing with it, you can hear the clicking in the background. Just ignore that, he has a Windows radio, yes, just try it on RP as much as we can. Anyway guys, we've managed to make it from all doubts from our house and so on into up to Berzino. you know, it's quite a big town. I'm gonna look for some weapons. This double barrel shotgun that I got from the farmer. I had to kill him for it. it, was, it was, wasn't the best of days, wasn't the worst of days. I wish I had ammo. I wish I had ammo. So we're just gonna go about and check the buildings that I think might have some guns inside it. We might also check up some stores and some houses for some food. And we do need some more medical supplies. So if there's a hospital nearby, we're definitely gonna hit that up. So let's see what we can find. 
I'm going to check the school first. Now I heard in the news two days before the war that the, the school was being used by the Russians as a forward camp, which is why there seems to be ammo and binoculars everywhere. So it's a good thing that I watched the news that morning. I don't know why I was in Russia, I can't remember. Um, I, I was in a car crash when, when the whole thing started. I think it was I was on holiday or zombies. Oh no, it's too soon for zombies. I was on holiday when all this happened in Russia. I, I don't know why I was in Russia. I, I can't remember. Well, that's what I know. And you know, we already have a map. We don't need another one. Let's just get upstairs. This is really my first encounter, except from the ones inside the fire station with zombies. So I'm not too sure if there's a G17 here, which is quite nice. So I'm not too sure if they know how to climb stairs. If they, if they know how to walk upwards, I guess. I don't know if they know how to do that. Hopefully they don't. If they do, then not the end of the world. It just means I just can't hide up here once I have all the food in the world. I prefer to hide up here. It seem, seems like a safe place. It seems that the army, or whoever was here before me, seems to have emptied this out before I got here. This seems to be a lot of stuff I can really use. Oh, there seems to be a parcel here. Some clothing. I'm not really into girls' clothing. I might just wear the bra just 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 for the sake of it, but hey ho. That's just me. So far zombies not being able to climb the stairs. Which is always always a good good thing to know. That's the thing. You might think, oh I've got a gun, you're safe. And unless you value the zombies, you'll never be safe. You just always have to be aware of the situation that you're in. Let me turn down Skype. Yeah. This keyboard is quite loud, I know. I'm sorry, guys. Oh, seems like somebody was setting up, setting up camp here. I wonder what happened to them. Maybe they've gone out for supplies. Maybe something worse has happened. Anyway, they've left behind some sort of clothing for me. I've not changed my clothing in a couple of days, so I think I'm going to change my clothing now. Even priest clothing. They wouldn't shoot a priest. This is all this is all part of my tactic, guys. I've not showered in ages. I don't know how long I've been out. I don't know how long the apocalypse has happened for. If there's one thing I know from playing COD Zombies, it's that they can run fast if they want it. Yeah, that's the one thing I've taken away from COD. Yay for COD. COD's such a good game, yay. I'm joking lads, come down. People wouldn't shoot a priest, would they? It's my best chance of disguise. It's not just the zombies. It's not the zombies that are the threat. It's, it's the humans that are the threat, and the zombies. The undead make life hard. The humans make life harder. We're just going to loot up all the buildings we can before anyone knows we're here. We're going to get out of Zeno once we meet up with Lake E and then we're going to get the hell out of here. We're going to move to paradise where there's no zombies, there's no no bandits, no one to, to frighten us in our gear. There's nothing wrong. That's where I, that's, that's where I want to be. 
That's where I want to go. If God's real, then why has he inflicted this curse on us? We might have had a nuclear war and this might be our fault. But surely there's a cure. There's got to be people out there working on a cure. There's got to be people out there that, that know what they're doing. They know how to fix this. And they're probably on their fancy boats in the middle of nowhere with tons of food working on a cure. And one day they're going to come back and they're, they're going to help. And the United Nations came, tried to kill the zombies. They, they didn't do anything. Nobody knows what's going on. There's no cars about. I don't. I don't know what's going on. I must have been out for for a week or even more. There seems to be nothing, nothing left to claim. And I guess that's the way of things. If you want stuff, you're gonna have to kill people for their stuff. I mean, if that's the sport that we have to play, that's, that's the sport I'll play. I really hope I don't encounter the one. I have no ammo. Hopefully I can persuade them not to shoot me. Maybe I'll meet a nice guy. There used to be a game I used to play back before all this happened. A game named Daisy. And in Daisy there are heroes and there are bandits. And maybe I'll meet a hero. I'd rather not meet a bandit. In fact, if I meet a bandit, well... This is real life, this isn't a game. I'd be lucky to get away. There's nothing in sight here. The zombies, they're, they're, they're getting madder and madder. I don't think they like the, the exercise. I think the question is... Where do I go from here? And how do I make this a better, a better situation? How do I find gear? Where where would you go for gear? I'm gonna help the gas station. I know there's some industrial buildings around the gas station. I used to my girl uh I used to have a friend that lives up in Berzino and um and we're gonna go check out his house and see what's see what's crack a lacking, see if he's turned. See if he's still there. Who knows? No one knows, that's the thing. And Daisy Anything could happen. You could even hear voices of your brother's distant singing. And he just seems so close. But yeah, he should shut up! Obviously, the voices remain. But then you hear the opening of his door and you're like, yes, he's away. And joy just overfloods you. And that's when you realize, damn! This city has been wiped clean. Maybe there'll be a car for the rumors. Maybe they're not on the coast. A lot of people, this is the main roads, a lot of people driving up and down. I'd expect to see at least one car though, wouldn't I? And yeah, it's probably going to be locked or ruined. Oh, what is this? Somebody has, somebody's, uh, has built them a little outpost, it seems. I don't know if you can call this an outpost. It's just stairs up to the roof. There's nothing on the roof. Maybe someone was in process of taking over the gas station. Or maybe they just loaded up all the gas onto their helicopter. Now, I don't remember there being a door here. I think someone has decided to set up base. And yeah, they have. Which is a shame. I'd really like to get in here and loot it. Let's see. I remember playing as a kid. I used to play as a kid quite a lot on these roofs with my friends. I remember we used to be up here and there were people working inside there and we sneak up onto the roof. There was a little hole and there is there. Hopefully they they haven't blocked this off. They haven't. Good we can get inside. Hopefully anyway. Hopefully we don't get stuck. We're in. Let's just loot here. Let's just loot it. Get the hell out. 
I I actually remember um teaching oh yes, okay, we found a teaching gun. This is nice. As I am as well. Okay. I actually remember um teaching my my dad's even teaching me a week before all this happened. Now believe it or not, yeah. I wouldn't really say teaching but we were spending some quality time together and you know he was teaching me how to build a bike out of just a single scrap piece of metal. So if I can find a scrap piece of metal here, then I can probably replicate what we done on that day and find a bike. And find a bike, yeah, find a bike, build a bike even. Which which would be good. I don't trust myself with grenades. So we're just we're just gonna leave leave the grenade out. And I'll probably set it off when I was still holding it. And you know, no one wants to do that, set off the grenade when they're still holding it. It just seems like a stupid thing to do. It's if he's crossbow or something over there. Maybe it's in a collector's edition. We got another gun here. I don't mind taking that in my backpack if it can fit. Apparently it can't fit. I don't know where it's gone. We destroyed it, we snapped it in half. I'd rather that if somebody did manage to find their way in here like me, they wouldn't be able to pick that up and shoot me in the back. But that's just me. Oh, you know, I'm just I'm just a crazy guy. There's a box here. This might be a shipment. It's a fuel pump. We'll take that for later. I suppose this is going to last a while, so we might as well set up a base or an outpost or somewhere to call home until this is all over. And if we're going to be able to find a car, then I'd imagine we're going to need a fuel pump. But hey ho, that's the way of things. Anyway, we're going to head out and um, hopefully find a car. Anyway, guys, this is going to be the end of this broadcast. I'll be I'll be broadcasting this in the highest frequency every day at 12 noon. I'll be waiting at Chenaris. Chernaris, Chernogorsk docks every morning at 12 noon. If anyone is out there, I can provide you safety, shelter, and food. If there's anyone out there, please, you're not alone. <laughs>